Hey, what's going on everybody? Commander Crane here, and we are back with part two of our sets three and four today. We're going to be doing set four today. Um, so, for those who haven't seen the previous videos, uh, we're going to be going through all the sets here for Pokemon Battle Revolution, uh, Stargates of Coliseum Masters Battle. And today we're currently on set four. So we're just going to hop right into it here. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of a rundown on our team today. We are going to be using a different team than from part one. Uh, today we're going to be using uh, our shiny team, actually. Which I'll go ahead and show everyone the team here. So we got a Mammoth Swine here uh, with an Expert Belt. We got Protect, Earthquake, Ice Fang, and Ice Shard. Uh, we have our Focus Ash Raikou uh, with Protect, Aura Sphere, Weather Ball, and Thunder. We have our Gyarados with Taunt, Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Ice Fang with a Lumberry. We have Luxray with Swagger, Crunch, Iron Tail, Thunder Fang. This is one of our choice Scarfers. We got Bulky Suicune with Protect, Aqua Ring, Surf, Ice Beam with Leftovers. And then we have Entei who is Shell Bell, which is a weird item for sure, but with Flare Blitz it's okay. Uh, we got Protect, Stone Edge, Extreme Spit, and Flare Blitz. Um, so this is the crew we're going to be going with today. Once again, these are all shiny, uh, and we're going to hop right into it here. Uh, definitely the battles are going to start getting pretty challenging here. Um, with set four, we've got some legendaries. Um, not a ton, a ton, but we're going to have a decent amount here. So, all right, we got Mantine, Toxicroak, Quagsire, Scizor, Bastiodon, and Weavile. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of liking I'm liking Gyarados Entei or hmm almost like Raikou Entei let's go alright we're, we're actually going to go Mamoswine Gyarados Entei I think Raikou I think Raikou yeah yeah we'll go Raikou I don't really think there's too much of a gimmick for this team necessarily. They just have a bunch of okay Pokemon. Stargazer Coliseum Masters Battle Set Four. Can the challenger tear down the wall in front of them? Quakes are toxic, Rook. That's awkward for sure. Um, definitely got fake out pressure. I'm thinking, hmm, oh, that's a toughie. I definitely don't like the fake out pressure there. Um, I actually think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go protect with Mamoswine, and I'm gonna go waterfall on Quagsire. I don't mind if Gyarados, if he targeted Gyarados with fake out, I just don't want Mamoswine getting hit here. Yep, looks like he targeted Mamoswine. Get some chip damage on Quagsire here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Waterfall. Yep. Okay. I definitely like... I don't... We should be faster on Toxic Croak. Um, we'll go Earthquake, Waterfall. Toxic Start Punching Gyarados. Alright, that's fine. I'll take that. Critical hit. Well, that was a pretty good critical hit, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, there goes Toxicroak. See, after the Earthquake and the Waterfall coming from uh, Gyarados, we should be able to take out Quagsire. Yeah, definitely. Alright, perfect. There we go. Double knockout. See what we got here. Astudon, Astudon okay. Mantine and Mantine, down. okay. Alright. Um, he's probably gonna use Hydro Pump into Mammoth Swine here. Um, hmm. I actually think I'll let him do it. I'm gonna double into Bastiodon here. I'll just I'll just let him knock out Mammoth Swine, because we'll just swap in Raikou and take care of it. Pretty good considering he had a Shookaberry. 
I mean, double super effective, but yeah. Bastion has some crazy good defense. Alright, well, there we go. Took out Bastion. Down. It went down. Probably Hydro Pump, I imagine. Yep, Hydro Pump. <laughs> They've hit me with two attacks. And both were critical hits. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we'll swap it Raikou. We should be able to should be able to finish this off here. Shining Raikou. Alright. Thunder on Mantine. And Ice Fang on Mantine. And did we mess or was it a berry? Berry, okay. Should be a still be able to take it out. Yep, there we go. Alright. Awesome. Well, one battle down, three to go. Say overall pretty efficient. Uh yeah, two critical hits. They got one knockout. Our Gyarados is a bulkier set as well, also, if I didn't clarify that earlier. It's not a sweeper set. We've got Taunt, Dragon Dance, Waterfall, and Ice Fang for coverage. Alright, Rotom, Clefable, Floatzel, Saraptor, Bronzong, Heracross. So from this person... I definitely remember um, Clefable. They pretty much always lead with Clefable. And they usually... They always switch generally what they pair it with. But I know that they always lead Clefable. So we're going to lead Gyarados for Taunt. So we can take care of that Clefable. Um, I like I kind of like Gyarados Entei here. But we're going to go... I really don't want to deal with Floatzel too much. Um... Let's go Gyarados, Suicune, Mamoswine, I think Entei here. As much as I want to go Raikou. Raikou wouldn't be too bad, but let's do that. Definitely not the right matchup for Luxray for sure. Especially considering its coverage moves are not awesome. Okay, Clefable Bronzong. Definitely didn't expect that. Yep, so pretty simple. We're going to go Taunt into Clefable, and then we're going to go... Uh, we're going to, think, lead with an Aqua Ring. Just because at that point, it's going to go... It's going to go into... Oh, it didn't do that. Makes me think that it's attacking now. <laughs> Set up Aqua Ring here. Aqua Ring and uh, Leftovers were going to be pretty bulky. Cosmic Power. Okay. All right. And Calm Mind. Setting up a little bit. All right. All right. Um, I think we need to take out that Bronzong. So we're going to go... Well... Hmm. It's taunted, so I'm really not too worried about it. Oh, Ice Beam is not going to do any damage, though. I wonder if I should switch. Yeah, I'm actually going to switch Gyarados out for Entei. And then I'm just going to go for Ice Beam on Clefable. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. Entei is sent out. Should be able to get some good damage on that Bronzog now. The red corner out their Pokemon that doesn't surprise me. It, it really can't even do much since it's taunted. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's awful. Oh, okay. Psychic onto... Okay, good. Yeah. That still did pretty good damage. Heal itself from Aqua Ring and Leftovers. Okay. Man. Floatzel is a pain in the butt. Because <sighs> otherwise it's going to take a waterfall and deal massive damage. <sighs> Dang it. That's not what I wanted to see. Oh man, we don't now have a good swap in here, do we? Okay, um... 
All right, I guess we're going to attempt to trade. Floatzel's probably going to be faster. Well, unless we should just go for a protect. Okay, no, we're going to go Flare Blitz on Bronzong. And... Let me just go for a Surf, because I feel like Entei's going to go down. Ice Beam on Floatzel, I guess. This is a tough one. Quick Claw! Yeah, he's definitely doubling into Entei. Should go for Surf. Bulk up. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Definitely didn't expect that. This should do some pretty good damage here. Perfect. So yeah, I didn't... I, it probably has... It probably has... Uh, forgetting the name of it all of a sudden. Levitate? It probably doesn't have heat proof, I imagine, but a little bit of HP back there. Chipping away at Floatzel. All right, definitely next one we're gonna go protect Surf. Then we can maybe, maybe take out Floatzel with a uh, with a. Uh, Extreme speed. I know it does have. Uh, but we still can't predict the it does have one bulk up, but it should still be okay. Entei's shiny form looks so nice in this game. Follow me. Just realize that follow me actually could be a problem with extreme speed. Waterfall. Actually, might just swap into Gyarados here. That might honestly just be the right way to go. I got some damage off. Not bad. Got a little chip damage on Clefable, I suppose. I think she was better than I thought it would be. Okay. So let's actually... Well, yeah. Let's swap into Gyarados. Absorb that waterfall. Let's go for another Surf, just because I really want to take out... That, well, Ice Beam? Uh, will Ice Beam do it? I think so. Yeah, we'll go Ice Beam on Floatzel. I want to run Call Mind on Suicune. I just haven't taught it to it yet. Instead of Protect, I want to go Call Mind for scenarios exactly like this. Should be able to absorb that waterfall, no problem. Oh, man. I should have used Surf. I was right. Because of follow me. That's okay though. We'll be able to take this pretty good. That's a hit this time. Dang it! Yeah, I should have used surf. Could have got. I would have gotten a little trip damage. It would have been fine. Okay. All right. Yep, we're gonna go taunt on Clefable, and we're gonna go for a surf here, just because I don't want to deal with follow me. Dang it, I wish I would use Surf on the last one. It's gonna go for an Ice Fang, maybe? Crunch? Okay. Well, it's gotta start attacking, so this shouldn't do too much damage. Nope. Suicune is very bulky. There we go. We got a Taunt. That is just messing with that Clefable. Taunt just destroyed it. I actually don't know if it has an attacking move, to be honest. Alright. Perfect. I love the nice, deep red that Gyarados has in this game. It's so crisp. It's not like a flat red. Like, it's just a nice, crisp red. Alright, so now he's down to two Pokemon, I believe. Yeah, he's down to two, so he can't swap anymore. So, Clefable is just stuck with Taunt. Let's see what he follows up here. Heracross? Okay. The blue corner currently leads. I know that that Heracross has Stone Edge for sure. Um, yeah, Gyarados really doesn't want to take this chip damage, but that's okay. Stone Edge, man, it missed. That might be Scarfed. It's pretty fast. I actually don't know Heracross' speed stat. Oh, well. Then again, none of my Pokemon, they're, they're, none of them have speed investment, I guess. So, I guess it makes sense. 
Got the KO. Awesome. Yeah, now it's just... Now we're against a taunted Clefable. That may or may not have an attacking move. If it has one, it's gonna be like Charge Weaver or Thunderbolt or something. Oh! <laughs> That's a struggle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And that is why you run Taunt. Because you'll get funny moments like that where the opposing Pokemon can't attack you and you kill it. Ah, that's hilarious. It did like no damage too with that struggle and that was just massive recoil. Alright. Gastrodon, Golem, Rapardos, Luminion, Pro Passive. Man, I wish we had a Grass type. Woo! We would obliterate this team. Okay, so I know that Rampardos is Scarfed for sure. Um, hmm. I definitely like Mamoswine and Gyarados here. That's that's just a great lead. Um, I also like Suicune, and obviously, with based on typing, we're definitely not gonna use Entei or Luxray. Um, you could make the argument, but now we'll go we'll go Raikou. We which is nice because we've got uh, we've got Thunder for the Water types, and then we've also got Aura Sphere for like Golem. Alright, quarterfinals. We're getting there. Well, semifinals, sorry, not quarterfinals. Luminion Rampardos. Okay. I definitely see a head smash going on to Gyarados here, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I definitely see a head smash on Gyarados here. Unfortunately, I really don't want to swap Suicune into that, so... Ugh, gosh, yeah. Gyarados is just gonna get... Unless I swap into Raikou and live with the Sash, but I don't know. I guess I decide, do I want Gyarados or do I want Raikou? I think I want Gyarados. Oh, gosh, that's a toughie. But then I really have nothing for Luminion, so... Nah, I, I need Raikou. I need, I need Raikou. Alright, so we'll do that. We'll go Earthquake and... I just set up a dragon dance on the off chance that I live. Yeah, we'll do that. I this oh oh god. Yep, head smash. Yep. If I had protect, I definitely would have used it. Ah, all right. Let's see how much this earthquake does. That Luminion. Cook. Well, yeah, that was a very uh, clutch critical hit. Because <laughs> there's a chance that... I don't know what Luminion... I don't know what it's running, but, I mean, it easily could have just Hydro Pumped and killed us. Yeah, that's... See, that's the thing. Choice Scarf. Whew, makes it so fast. All right. Um, hmm. Let's go Suicune. Just in case that's Golem. Probably pass, okay. Hip out on, okay. Got the sandstorm going. Alright, um, uh, before I was gonna go... Before I was gonna go with Surf, but obviously because of the sandstorm with the special defense, I'm just gonna go Protect the Suicune, Earthquake with Mamoswine. So I use Earthquake. Should do somewhat okay damage to Hippowdon, I imagine. Alright, yep. Double down super down. effective Earthquake. You're gone, Purple Pass. Nice. Now it's Hippowdon against the world. Yawn. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Yep, so this is pretty easy. Just Ice Fang, Ice Beam. Ice Fang, what kind of developments can and we Ice Beam. Next? A 
Yeah, hang on. Pretty bulky. Pretty bulky at power on there. Oh! I was wondering if it was going to hang. Oh, focus. Okay. I was thinking, oh, maybe it'll hang on just because of the sandstorm and we don't have a lot of investment on Suicune. Okay. Alright, focus band. That makes me feel a little better. I thought I thought Suicune just genuinely couldn't knock it out. Which, I want to say we only have... We only have 64 investment I, EVs on Suicune, which is definitely why I need Calm Mind. Um... I can't remember its nature. I believe his nature is low attack, high defense, or special defense, I believe. Which, I guess, I never said this before, but Entei Reku Suicune, um, which I'm sure you may have noticed that they have church balls. That's because they're from uh, the event from GameStop back in 2011. Um, I have the event cards for them, and I was able to give myself those uh, legendaries. So that's why they uh, have the cherish ball. Which they all have special moves, which at least for Entei still has, um, was it Flare Blitz Extreme Speed, Raikou has Weather Ball or Sphere, and then Suicune just has uh, Aqua Ring. But, alright, final battle, gross, he's got pretty good Pokemon, we got Palkia, Garchomp, Lucario, Snorlax, Charizard, Uxi. So, obviously gross, from my understanding he leads Palkia every single game. We really don't have a lot to beat this Palkia, to be completely honest. So, he always changes his leads, but at least what I'm going to go is I'm going to go Raikou, Gyarados, Mamoswine, and actually, ooh, no. I kind of like Gyarados Suicune. Hmm. I definitely want Suicune in this matchup for sure. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Raikou, Gyarados, Mamoswine, Suicune. Let's do that. Fortunately, really haven't used Luxray, but these we just have not had any good battles. Alright, I'm really hoping he does not lead Garchomp here. Just because I expect Raikou to take a hit here. We're going to go for Thunder, probably. Charizard, okay. So the Intimidate's not really doing much for us. Storage says he's right here. Oh! Interesting. Okay. So we're gonna go for protect. We're gonna go protect waterfall onto Charizard here. As much as I kinda wanna go for well. Do I go for a dragon dance? I'm gonna go for a dragon dance. I have a feeling that I mean, we probably could knock it out in one hit, but Oh pff, well, good thing we were for protect them. It's probably gonna go for what is it doing? Surf? Surf? Okay. Alright, well, I guess a uh, good thing we went for the Dragon Dance, huh? <laughs> right, good job, Gyarados. That's awesome that we got rid of that White Herb, because that was definitely going to be a, a Draco Meteor. Alright, awesome. Alright, uh, yeah. I, pff, I'm praying this hits. Uh, yeah, let's go Thunder Waterfall. Waterfall and Charizard. Yes! Good job, Raikou! Oh, huh, that did pretty good damage. And we got the Paralysis! Woo! Good job, Gyarados. Drag me on who? Raikou, okay. Sash! We got the sash! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, now Palki is a lot weaker now, so that's good. This should knock it out, Charizard. And a critical hit. Why not? Icing on the cake. Alright, well, that was a very good turn for us. Gyarados was able to tank that uh, air slash pretty good. Lucario. That's something. Really hoping it doesn't have extreme speed. If it does, not a huge deal, especially since Palki is weakened. It does have extreme speed! Oh, no. Going for protect. Okay, that's fine. Let's go for another serve. Come on, Raikou. Come on, Raikou. No, Raikou! <laughs> ah! Alright. 
That's fine, I guess. Ah, dang it, Raikou. You could have lived! Could have used you for that Aura Sphere on Lucario. <sighs> Alright. Raining on my parade a little bit. Here, I should take this back in. Yep. Alright, um... I guess how fast is... Yeah. Oh, it's paralyzed, I guess. Um, oof. We just have to... Mm. Okay. So, I'm gonna go protect on Mamoswine. Because I think there's a pretty good shot. I think there's a pretty good chance that Gyarados is, uh... Well, there's a pretty good shot that they're gonna double into Mamoswine here. So, let's go for protect. I think next turn... We are going to go for a another Dragon Dance, because I think Lucario could go for a Protect. Thus, this knocks it out, of course. Bam. Knocks it out! Okay, well. Oof. Yeah, let's see if they... Probably going to be Yuxi in the back, I imagine. I wouldn't be surprised. Flamethrower! <laughs> so, they cheesed us, but we have a Lumberry! <laughs> Oh, the game is just trying... I hate it when they do stuff like that, though. Like, you'll be like, oh, what? Well, that was doesn't make sense unless they get a burn, and then they get a burn, and you know the game is just cheating you. Love it when that happens. All right. So, we're going to go Earthquake, and then just in the weird chance that Earthquake does not kill, we are going to go for a Waterfall on Palkia. Earthquake should knock it out, but just in case it doesn't. And Gyarados is faster than Mamoswine. Okay, alright, that's, that's fine, I'm not... I mean, Earthquake might, should have been able to knock it out, but I really... That was kind of how we were going to lose here, for the most part. I know Yuxi shouldn't do anything too crazy, for the most part, and we still have Suicune, so... Wow, Gyarados with no speed investment outspeeds full speed Mamoswine. Crazy. Oh no. Alright, good job. Gyarados did awesome. Whew. Yeah, Gyarados is that that first turn getting that uh that that dragon dance off. That was huge. Alright, should be able to finish this off now. Alright, just on the chance that Michael Thunderbolt like oh, do I go protect? I think I just go offense here. Might as well. I'm not even gonna mess around with Protect prediction. We're just gonna go for it. Solid hit. That did not do a lot of damage. Call mind. Okay. Setting up. Ice beam. We'll just try and get the freeze hacks off on it. <laughs> oh my goodness well you want to know what they deserve that because they tried to burn gyarados so you know what we'll just we're just repaying the favor at this point oh, yeah that's not doing as much damage because mammoth swine's got expert belt frozen solid All right. Well, it's not looking good for you. Sorry. Ice beam. All right. I was gonna say it'd be my luck that Ice Fang would miss. Boom! Out of there. Whew. Very helpful freeze for sure. Um, yeah. If they would have been able to take out Mammoth Wine, uh, I think it would have been a losing battle to be honest. But, uh, alright, there we go. Set four, complete. Overall, last battle actually went pretty well. The legend is rewritten. Yeah, we're not, that's not the last time we're going to be seeing that guy. That's for sure. Awesome. Got it. Alright, well, there we go. There's set four. Um, overall, it's, it's not going to get any... 
it's not going to get any easier from here. That is for sure. Um, pretty much from here on out, we're going to be going against a lot of legendaries for sure. Some ubers, some pseudo legendaries. Obviously, that was the first uh, first uber legendary we battled against there. But uh, overall, that's all I've got for us. So thanks for joining. Um, so that is part of our battles through time. That was, I believe, this was episode three. Yep, episode three. Um, thank, thank you for joining. Obviously, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Uh, and keep it alerted, you know, so that way when we post more videos. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for joining, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.